there is a, um, there always has been a magic happening somehow in the intermeetings, however difficult or complicated or un uncertain uh, the organizations were. And I think that is because of this mixture of people and this uniqueness of people and this abundance of experience that you get in a room with people with so much lived experience uh, uh, together from all over the place. So it's yesterday evening at the party when it was really like magic and so happy or when Kwame was up there and said, when I look at you from up here, this looks wonderful. This has been happening always. I think it's the nature of the, of the topic and of the work, but it has been very special here, of course, because it is uh, in this part of the world uh, it is with many new people, with a lot of energy, with the young people also, uh, with this real mixture from all over. And at the time where people, I think things are moving a little bit again. There was a time, the last years, and they were, it felt like uh, what Mary yesterday said, uh, after three decades, maybe they, we have failed in some respect, things have not developed and there's also uh, backlashes. But now I think there's a time, and of course especially in a country like India, where uh, there's an atmosphere of uh, expansion, new things uh, happening, change. And so there's high hopes for change for the better and high energy for that. And I think this is special here, apart from this being a very special place, of course. Nobody has ever seen a place like this, I think. When I started to work, I work at the Medical University of Vienna, and the head of the department then, Heinz Kaczynik, had been very strongly involved in the family movement. And he was a co-founder of the Austrian Family Organization, uh, with a special interest in uh, uh, people with psychotic uh, experiences. And so that's how I grew up with the families and was always very intrigued. What then happened uh, in Austria, as in some, not all, but contrary to the situation in the US, where the family and the so-called user survivor movement were somehow at odds families somehow with the system and uh, user activist movement very critically. In Austria, the family movement was also very critical always. They were a strong reform power and they were of course listened to by psychiatry and by uh, politicians, but they had, and they were also constructive, but they had a critical stance. And the family movement from the start did want uh, user activist movement also. They came to the conclusion, and I have to say it was the women in the families movement, who came to the conclusion that they should uh, not always speak for their family members with the diagnosis. They, they should also be able to speak for themselves and give the user activists, to help them to find their own voice. So that was, of course, exciting. That was like 20 years ago. So I've been involved with this from the start. And also from the start, I had contacts to the US. I worked in the UK also. And I knew the international user survivor movement. And uh, so it was a, an honor and a pleasure to try to uh, be part of and, and assist the user activist movement in Austria and other places. There's different uh, angles to look at this. From a scientific point of view, uh, it's very, all the data that we have show us that working with the family is a very effective thing. There's also the truth that there's too little work with families, yes, but we are also doing something outside psychiatry. In Vienna and starting in Germany, we have a movement that's called Trialog. 
it's open groups outside psychiatry on neutral ground in the community for example in Vienna we've been doing this for 25 years on neutral ground in an adult education facility we have these trialogue groups it's open groups uh, uh, inviting everybody who has to do with mental health and mental health problems families and friends of people who have been diagnosed or have been using services or have, have problems, people with a lived experience and people who somehow have to do with the system. Could be mental health workers, uh, could be other people that somehow have to do. We meet on this neutral ground under the uh, premise that we accept all experience on equal footing. So we share and gather this whole uh, experience and you can imagine if you have a room where you have maybe 10 people with a lived experience 10 people who have experience as family and friends 10 people who work in the system this group knows everything together every one of them is constantly in a situation where you're challenged and feel you don't know what to do if you're together there's really no problem that cannot be solved by this amazing abundance of experience. So we're trying uh, to push this kind of sharing experience and using all the wisdom that's already there in the communities.